Hi everyone, it's Roger here from what's on at DisneyPlus.com. It's very it's time for a quick Disney Plus News Roundup. Where I'm going to be talking about Daredevil Born Again filming being suspended. I'll be talking about a brand new show from FX and much more. But before we go any further, make sure you do hit that subscribe button to keep up with the latest Disney Plus news. Okay, so let's kick things off talking about Daredevil Born Again, a brand new series that is going to be coming to Disney Plus. It's well, it is scheduled to arrive in 2024. That's what they've previously announced. It's going to consist of 18 episodes, and it will see the continuous of kind of what we've seen so far with uh, Daredevil and also Wilson Fisk being brought in. Um, it's kind of like a new version but not quite a continuation of the series we've seen before. It's all a little bit complicated with how they're doing it. But filming has been underway for a couple of months in New York City and filming was scheduled to be taking place until the end of the year because of it being 18 episodes. I mean, you think of like the other Marvel series, they've only been about six episodes, so this is much longer. But more, I think more of a traditional television series, maybe more um, with like individual stories and but with an overall arc. But don't really know too much more about what the story's gonna be about. But they have been suffering with um, disruptions to filming um, since the writer's strike started back in May. And what's been basically happening is picketers turn up um, to kind of basically protest about the fact of them um, filming because they obviously the writers want to get you know better conditions, better pays, better residuals, all kinds of stuff like that. And the studios aren't really negotiating very well at all on all this. So they are trying to disrupt um, filming to basically get the studios to come back to the negotiation table. And so this has been going on for a while. But when they do the uh, the actual pickets outside of where they're filming. Um, some of the other teams and stuff that come in, the Teamsters, they won't cross over the picket line and so therefore they won't work and therefore things get disrupted. This has happened a few times already. Filming has been suspended and resumed and um, filming did get disrupted earlier this week and now Disney has apparently decided according to Deadline, they have now just suspended filming on Daredevil Born Again until the writer's strike is over. It's basically just probably just costing them too much and just hiring people and then they get end up sending them away. And it's probably for the best as well because if you've got the writers on hand, that means they can make adjustments and do things and um, it's probably better for the series in a run. Um, DC have been having um, similar problems with The Penguin. That's just got shut down as well. Um, other shows have also been affected by uh, these picket events, including, for example, the new series of American Horror Story. Um, so yeah, this is something that's been going on and hopefully at some point this will bring the studios back and they can kind of get together and have um, just get things sorted because we obviously want this to happen. Um, the studios have been preparing for this. I also think as well the studios have actually been waiting for this to happen because I think there's a good way for them to try and save some money on kind of reducing the amount of content they're creating because they've just been creating way too much content kind of chasing subscribers and now they're sort of slowing down and that's definitely something that they're going to be um, moving forward with and I, I think kind of in some way the writer's struck is kind of forced in their hand. Hopefully all this gets sorted pretty soon and filming can resume but when it does who knows I don't think we're going to get anything done this summer so maybe it will kick off later. Obviously this might have an impact and when the series arrives on at Disney Plus, um, this might push it into 2025. And yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, this might be a good thing for the show. My um, delays aren't necessarily always a bad thing. They have got other shows coming up. They've got um, Ironheart is already in the can. They've just been filming uh, Coven of Chaos. So they've got at least two series. Wonder Man is another show that they have been filming, but that one's also been being hit with um, issues here and there with the um, strike. So they have got stuff in the can, but. Uh, yeah, so we are definitely going to be seeing a little bit less. I, I think we're probably going to either end up seeing this drop in like two batches, like in two seasons rather than one because it gets split up. Or they're just going to push it back into the next year, which I think is probably more likely. But let me know what you think of all this in the comments below. Disney has announced a brand new FX limited series called A Murder at the End of the World, which is set in a remote and isolated compound of a reclusive billionaire. Now it's going to be coming to Hulu in the United States and on Disney Plus in Canada in August. And it's also been confirmed it will be coming to Disney Plus here in the UK, but no exact release date has yet been confirmed. The FX stuff can be a little bit tricky. A Murder at the End of the World is a mystery series of a new kind of detective at the helm, a Gen Z amateur sleuth and a tech savvy hacker named Darby, who's played by Emma Corrin. And and Darby and also eight other guests are invited by a reclusive billionaire, Clive Owen, to participate on a retreat at a remote and dazzling location when one of the other guests is found dead. Darby must use her skills to prove it was a murder against a tide of competing interests and before the killer takes another life. Now, I think this one definitely sounds pretty interesting. Kind of that's it kind of sounds a little bit similar in some ways to what we've seen recently, like with like the menu and, and glass onion, but obviously mixing up a little bit. FX series, you know, they're really good, you know, very high quality drama series 
So the fact that we know we're gonna be getting this one is good. But let me know, are you interested in this brand new series from FX? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Moving on from there, let's talk about what's new today. Um, so on Disney Plus around the world, on Star Plus in Latin America, and on Hulu in the United States, we've got a brand new episode from the third season of The Kardashians in this episode. We get to see Kim out in Milan, kind of getting ready for um, uh, putting together a photo shoot, and she's kind of struggling with like confidence and because her um, sort of stylist is stuck on a plane, and so she has to make decisions, which kind of you'd kind of do laugh at was some of the problems that these people have. And we also get to see um, Kylie hanging out with her sister and all kinds of stuff. It, it's you know, if you like the Kardashians, check it out. I enjoy it. Me and my wife watch this show, so um, I definitely enjoyed this episode. But let me know. Are you going to be watching the Kardashians? Let me know in the comments below. So moving on to our comment of the day, which is in reference to yesterday's stories. So given that they need to slow down their output to improve overall quality, the delays may end up being a blessing in disguise for Marvel Studios. Having said that, they seem to be rushing out Echo in November instead of giving some much needed breathing room for Loki Season 2 and the Marvels. The Rock has been taking a few losses lately with Black Adam's box office bomb, the Young Rock TV show getting cancelled and the XFL losing 60 million dollars. Yeah let's look at this in a couple of different ways. So first off the delays I do think you know spreading out the releases is probably a good thing. They get more time to do production. I do feel as well Disney have and Mar especially Marvel have to stop giving out this massive roadmap to kind of get people excited about what's coming up you know because they keep changing it. They, they, you know, they, they put up this stuff at San Diego Comic Cons and then they end up moving all of the dates. I mean they should just kind of be like we're doing this movie, but we don't know when it's coming out, or just be like, yeah, I, I think they kind of had to say that they were making an Avengers movie that made sense. We'll just keep delaying them. It's just stretching out, and I do feel that's probably a good thing. I feel uh, Marvel has kind of oversaturated with doing too much stuff, and I do feel we're going to start seeing a lot less. And like you said, I do not understand why they are dropping Echo all at the same time. I don't think this is a good um, thing for them to do, especially, as you said, between Marvels and Loki. Like, why not just hold back Echo for next year, especially with the issues going on with, like, Daredevil? Well, they could still do that. I don't think that's a, um, a bad idea. Now, the thing is with Echo, they might be doing a little bit of an experiment to see um, if they um, do these kind of drops. And also... I've also had other kind of, you know, theories of maybe they're doing Echo because it's going to be like Disney Plus Day because they're going to be, that's the day that maybe they launch with the Hulu thing. And one of the interesting things I want to bring to people's attention is when they've kind of brought in the Hulu content into Disney Plus in the US, what that then means is they're going to have content dropping constantly. They're not going to be as reliant then on Marvel and Star Wars content to keep people um, being brought into the app. Um, I know like with having star content, there's always something being added each week and there's always new films, new shows, etc. So you're much less reliant on that Marvel Star Wars content to keep people engaged. But there's a couple of issues with Echo. Don't know what they are. I mean, you know, the show could be really good, um, but it does seem a bit strange that they're doing a little bit of an experiment. But also um, streaming is very depending on data and they are moving things around a little bit but there's definitely that yeah and the rock definitely seems to be have, having a bit of a rough year in terms of stuff not quite going his way i do think he's personally been a little bit too overexposed in too many projects and i think again like with marvel you get to a point where you kind of have maybe people get a little bit bored of that but yeah so there we go so let me know what you think of all this in the comments below go check us out over at what's on at disneyplus.com i'll be back tomorrow with another news update and i shall see you guys soon laters